Unfortunately, ChatGPT isn't available in places like Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and Italy, which blocked it back in 2023 because of privacy concerns. And since we suddenly rely entirely on AI, you would be missing out if you didn't have access to it. And yeah, those restrictions can be frustrating, especially if you're relying on ChatGPT for work or school or just curiosity. But the good news is a VPN lets you connect to a server in a country where ChatGPT is allowed, like the US or UK, for example. So it seems like you're browsing from there instead. A VPN also keeps your internet activity private, so your provider or government can't snoop on what you're doing. And setting up a VPN is pretty simple. Usually you just download the app, install it on your phone or your computer or other device, and then pick a server in a country where ChatGPT works. So for example, if I choose a US server, my internet will think I'm in the US and I can head to chat dot open AI dot com here without any issues. And this obviously applies to more than just chat GPT. I mean, VPNs can also unlock other restricted content like streaming services or websites that might be blocked in your area. Whether you're trying to watch a show on Netflix that's only available in another country or visit a website your government has restricted, a VPN gives you access to the whole internet, which is like realizing the world is in color after living in black and white, you know? I've spent time looking into VPNs to find the ones that work best. And the three that come out on top are are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. They're reliable for getting past geoblocks and accessing all sorts of platforms and content. They come with features that make them great for more than just ChatGPT. All three have a kill switch too, which stops your data from leaking if the VPN disconnects. And they're solid for torrenting and streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. So using ChatGPT, downloading files, or watching your favorite shows can all be done with one of these. The point is that they need to get past certain firewalls and having a VPN designed for countries with heavy censorship is key. These all offer dedicated IPs, which give you a unique IP address to reduce the chance of being blocked, or obfuscated servers, which hide the fact that you're using a VPN, all crucial for accessing ChatGPT in restrictive places. For example, in China, VPNs are heavily regulated, so you'd want to use Surfshark's No Borders mode or NordVPN's obfuscated servers to stay under the radar. In Italy, where ChatGPT is banned, connecting to a nearby country like the UK might be all you need to get going. So if you're someone who values reliability and doesn't mind spending a little bit more, ExpressVPN is a top choice and the discount link below helps too. Express constantly has third parties audit their no logs policy, meaning that they don't keep track of what you do online. Their lightweight protocol makes their connections super fast. So using ChatGPT feels smooth and responsive. Mostly Express has been a reliable, simply executed top tier choice for a lot of people. And I'm sure it'll continue to be. Nord is also fast with their Nordlinks protocol. So same, same, but different. But Nord has a gazillion other features that are all all meant to add layers of security to help you torrent or share files or whatever you need without worrying about anyone or anything keeping track. It has about 7,600 servers in 118 countries, which is a huge network. So that gives you lots of choices for connecting to chat GPT friendly regions. And it supports 10 devices at once. So you can cover most of the devices you use. Express has eight, by the way. One feature about Nord I really like is threat protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and malware, making it way less annoying to just browse the internet without stumbling into something that's going to be bad for my computer or whatever. But if you want a VPN with a lot of features at a solid price, then NordVPN is the way to go. And you can check out the deal below to get it even cheaper. Then there's Surfshark, which is perfect if you're trying to save money, but still want a reliable VPN. They have over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. And the best part is, is you can connect as many devices as you want. So if you have three kids and they all have three devices on top of the ones in the house, one subscription of theirs has even more to go around. It is a bit slower than Express or Nord, but it's still fast enough for chat GPT and streaming. Surfshark also includes its version of threat protection called CleanWeb, which blocks ads and pop-ups and no borders mode like I mentioned. So if you're on a budget or need to cover multiple devices, Surfshark would be a great pick here. And if you're worried about price to begin with, it's really not so bad. The longer term plans work out way cheaper each month on top of the discount links in the descriptions. So if you can budget for $5 or less per month, a VPN is an absolutely essential tool in this day and age. If you really want, you can take advantage of the 30 day money back guarantee that all three VPNs offer. Try them out and if you decide they're not for you, you can get a full refund within 30 days. 
no questions asked. So when choosing a VPN, think about what matters most to you. If speed and privacy are your priorities, then Express's fast connections and no logs policy are really hard to beat. If you want a balance of features and affordability, Nord's huge server network and extras like threat protection make it a great deal. And if you need to cover a trillion devices or stick to a tight budget, then Surfshark's unlimited connections and low price would be ideal here. So no matter what you pick, they're all designed to make accessing chat GPT simple and secure, even in countries with strict internet rules. So that's all for today's video. Remember to use the discount links below to check out their latest deals and full details on what each one offers. If you have any questions about setting up a VPN or picking the right one, feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a good one.